Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. On today's episode of me recapping stuff and things, I will be going over episode 10 of Last One Standing, the competition series in which 14 survivalists battle it out for the title of Last One Standing, $100,000 and a perfect 10.0 PSR. Before I continue, link below are some surveys. There's the Last One Standing survey in which I included survivalists who have not been on Last One Standing, have attempted at least two challenges, and or have shared the survey to their social media because they don't have to do that, but that's nice. And also, I was wrong because I made a last one standing wish list and I said Laura was retired, but that's a lie because there's a teaser on the Instagram and Facebook for Naked and Afraid where Steven and Laura are like, hey, we're mentoring some newbies. And so, of course, I'm wrong. Let's get into it. So we start off the episode with the survivalists getting material together to make a primitive fire. We see little vignettes of everybody gathering their things. And the next day we are on the triple elimination challenge, the primitive fire challenge. Now, last season, this took three days and only two of the five survivalists completed it. But this time, the survivalists have the materials they need. And so basically, the first three survivalists to start a primitive fire, make a fire in their fire pit, and burn a rope to release a scroll will move on to the final stage of the last one standing challenge. So day 40, challenge begins. Everyone is doing their own thing. Mainly bow drills are being used, except Patrick and Jeff are doing the hand method where they take their hands and they move their hands down a stick. And Jeff had strings attached to the top that he hooked on his thumbs to help him out to help with the spinning and whatnot, but that didn't really work. So he changed to a bow drill method. Patrick, his hand drilling didn't work either, so he also went to a bow drill. And we get a lot about how Kai has the techniques down, but doesn't have the strength necessarily. But, da 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 da, Kai is the first one to complete the challenge. She makes her primitive fire, she sets the rope on fire, she gets her scroll. Kai is first place and is moving on to the finals. Next up, we see Dan making a call. Dan didn't want to go into the final stage overly confident because he knows he can do it, but he didn't want to be like, oh, I'm the best I could do it and then lose. So he had a coal earlier on in the challenge, but it went out. So he just took a deep breath, changed his technique a little bit. He got a fire. Dan is second place. Now it's a battle for third. And we see Gary and Jeff almost getting that coal to start their fire. But Fernando's just like, oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to try my best. But, you know, whatever. How oh, there's a fire. And so Fernando manages to get a coal and start his fire. But unfortunately, he was many a feet away from his fire pit. So he had to rush over with all of his stuff to start the fire in the fire pit to burn the rope and get in third place. That's right. We have Kai, Dan, and Fernando as the final three of last one standing. Those three are very talented, very skilled, very cool, very nice. And unfortunately, we see... Gary, Jeff, and Patrick eliminated from the challenge. We see them having their montages. Patrick wanted to become the Legend Slayer, but unfortunately he got cut in the final six. He did amazing. He unfortunately did not get that 9.0 PSR, but he jumped from 7.9 to 8.9. And so that is nothing to sneeze at. And... Gary and Jeff kind of get their moments talking about their time on their challenges, almost sounding like they're retiring, but who knows, they'll probably come back. Rule number one, the survivalists lie. That's what I've learned. And it was sad to see them go, but unfortunately, Patrick, Gary, and Jeff all have to go. Bye-bye. And also, Jeff is 14 days away from being the first person to get 300 days on a challenge. So I could see Discovery bringing him back for a 14-day challenge. The theme of the challenge, I have no idea. But anyway, moving on, we have Dan, Kai, and Fernando spending the next few days waiting for day 43 because on the scroll they got from the Primitive Fire Challenge, they were told to go to the X on day 43. 
And during that time, there's some storms and high winds that happen. And Kai is unfortunately stung on the thumb by a scorpion. And that affects her for the next few days because there's a lot of pain there. And she has some difficulty doing some tasks such as shooting her bow. And so there's some worry there. And before the survivalists move on to their camps that they will stay on until day 45, they are given the task of making a boomstick, which basically is a noose on a long stick so they could reach really far, grab something in the noose and pull it. And so they had to make a boomstick and grab a satchel that's on a hook on a cliff face. And so they'll get some information there. And the first place finisher gets to be the closest to the final spot at a lake that they are going to complete their final challenge at. The second place finisher is a quarter of a mile behind first places and third place finisher is going to be half a mile away from the first place finisher's camp, but they're all a good distance away from the the lake that they're supposed to go to on the final day, but getting first place does have a big advantage. So they start out the challenge. Kai and Fernando have really big sticks that they have difficulty maneuvering. Dan uses a smaller stick. I noticed a lot during this season, everyone is saying, I want to get it right the first time. I want to do this, that, and the other so I can get it right the first time. And I feel that should be the new phrase that whenever people hear like protein or this is a game changer, just like take a drink of water. Every time you hear, I want to do this right the first time, take a drink of water. And so that was said a lot. And so although Dan was third to make it to the cliff face, he is the first person to get the satchel off the wall. And so he gets the camp closest to the challenge on day 45. Kai manages to get second place. And after changing up the sticks that he had used for the boom stick... Fernando gets third. And so Fernando is half a mile away from Dan and Kai is a quarter of a mile away from Dan. And so they wait until the last day. There are some storms that happen, but everyone's fire stays lit. So that's good. And so day 45, they're all off to the races. They have to go race to this lake. They have to start a fire at a lake. They have to have these arrows that they set on fire and shoot them towards a pyre in the middle of the lake and they have to hit the pyre with the lit arrow, set the pyre on fire, and the first person to do that wins the challenge. And so although Dan gets there first, Kai is the first person to shoot a shot. Unfortunately, she does not hit the pyre. I believe it's a pyre, but it's just massive, massive flammable material on a square in the middle of a lake. <laughs> so they're all shooting at it. They talk about how they aren't letting the flammable material on the arrow burn enough. And so sometimes when they shoot the arrow, the fire goes out. And so there's a point where Kai, she hits the base of the pyre, but unfortunately it doesn't light because the fire on the arrow went out before it hit. A little bit later, Dan manages to shoot an arrow that is still on fire that hits the pyre and Dan becomes the last one standing. Dan has won $100,000. He earns the perfect 10 PSR and he goes from second place finisher in the last last one standing to first in this one. He started out with a 14 day challenge. He did a 21 day challenge. He did a 60 day challenge. He got second place on last one standing, and then he got first. So a major journey Dan has been on. He was the one who I picked to win, and Kai and Fernando did a great job. They had great storylines, and it was all around a great finale. And we'll have to wait and see what is next, because the... Naked and Afraid Facebook and Instagram page put out little teaser trailers where it showed Laura, who hasn't been seen in a while, who said she retired, talking about how she's mentoring some newbies for the new season of Naked and Afraid. And also Stephen Lee Hall Jr. is there too, mentoring newbies. I am so shocked that Laura came out of retirement for that. Not surprised that Stephen did it. I'm sure he's going to be on a future last one standing because they changed up the rules and this season was better than the last one. But yeah, 
the new season is going to start eventually. And all in all, a great season of last one standing, a major step up from last season. So we'll see what happened there. I'm sure there's going to be a season three. I mean, the show is pretty popular. And I believe in the news report that said XL is on a quote unquote creative refresh. They said that there's no plans on changing Last One Standing Season 3, and they might start filming it sooner than they were going to, but who knows? I'm usually wrong. Laura's out of retirement. I would put her on my wish list, but I don't want to kick anyone off, so oh well. But congratulations to Dan for winning Last One Standing Season 2. Congratulations to Kai and Fernando for their second and third place finish. I think that second and third place should also get cash prizes. Plus, first place prize should be increased. Plus, they should implement how they do on Top Chef and the fans vote for a fan favorite. The survivalists can vote for a congeniality that could also get a prize. I have many ideas. I believe I put some of my ideas on my Last One Standing Season 3 wish list, but... I can't remember them all in this moment. Oh, also they could do like a gauntlet challenge where the final 11, 10, 9, 8 have to do three or four specific challenges and will be rated from first to last place. And the survivalist who averaged last place after all the challenges are completed goes home. They could also have reward challenges with monetary value and a survivalist could get the chance to spend money on a get out of elimination free card. So I think that would be great. But yeah, last one standing season two. Great job, everybody. And there's probably going to be a season three. Watch out for everyone. If anyone goes off grid or is saying they're leaving social media soon, I'm sure I had a lot more to say, but I can't remember. But Thank you all so much for listening. Please like, comment nice things, and subscribe, and click the next video if it's mine. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.